amazing. It's something that I totally just was not expecting to happen. Um, so I'm still in La La Land with that whole aspect. Like I, I go to work every day and I'm having a great time. You know, I have a great co-host, Bow Wow, uh, Shorty the Prince, Pageon, but I still feel like I don't think it has hit me yet 100%, but you know, it was a surprise again. Like I came, they called me the first time to come and um, co-host the show with Roxy and I didn't think much of it. You know, I, I started out doing music and pursuing music. So I just kind of figured they found me, you know, I, started up a little bit, so I thought that they, you know, found me and was like, oh, I think she'll be a dope person to come and co-host with Roxy, but one turned into two times, which turned into three times, which turned into me being a part of the whole week of the seven finalists for the search. That, that ain't what I'm about. I run the town, you just run your mouth. They tried to trick us, you know, they trinkled it down to seven finalists, and, um, our last day taping was Thursday, and then they had Friday the farewell show for Roxy and Terrence. So they sent us all back home. And we, we knew that they were going to pick the new host that coming Monday, but, and they were gonna have the new host start the show off Monday. They actually called me and you know they were like, uh, we want you to fly back out just to have a meeting with Stephen Hill. This does not mean anything. I just want to let you know this doesn't mean anything. We just want to have a meeting, but uh, bring some extra clothes just in case. And so, you know, in my mind, I'm like, uh, but you know, you never want to be too sure until you like hear it out of the horse's mouth. So we really did have a sit down meeting with Stephen Hill. And when I was walking in, I actually saw Paige Yon and Shorty the Prince walking up as well. So I'm looking around like, oh, I, I thought it was just going to be two hosts like a, I'm like okay they're gonna be calling me and maybe like a guy so something wasn't right to me and you know when we actually sat down with Stephen Hill and Eric and Rick and you know um, a couple of other people he basically was just like um you know congratulations you guys are three of the new hosts for BET 106 and Park and actually your new host is walking up right now we all turned around we're like what like and it was Bow Wow and his whole crew walking up we were just like what is going on here. It was a shock for everybody, but it works. I'm typically not the type to get like super starstruck, even if it's somebody that I really love. Like I try to put on my, my G swag. Like I don't want them to know, you know, you don't want to seem like you're reaching or being extra. So you just, you know, but um, when Queen Latifah and Jill Scott came to the show, I, I don't know what it was inside me, but my eyes started watering up. I couldn't control it. I had to walk off and feel my eyes. And it was really because, like, I've always really looked up to Queen Latifah and Jill Scott, like, seriously, like, growing up um, as a young adult. So just really seeing their presence, like, they had a presence. And everything I get on is a hit now. I bet they never thought I'd make it this far. And I ain't even win my hardest yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't really want to go dead, dead, dead.